don't, we don't, we don't put dragon on the table. Why we have the thing here to keep the rubbish out? Don't complain to all these. I have a really nice wall game set, but then spoil it by all the paperwork. Hegemony and the Zygrit Matriarchy, both of which are alien alien races, uh, of the same alien race, I should say, as this, this particular race of the Lenthnar is my spirited attempt to actually make an alien race that actually has enough factions in it to be like humans in everything else. We've actually got four of these particular alien race factions. This is a release game, Accelerate the Tap, which I spent about 15 years writing and was released a couple of years ago. And is available through War Games Vault. There's a there is flyer flyers appropriate there. Yep. So uh, this accelerated attack, yeah, I consider it something of a spiritual success to Full Thrust, in that it plays approximately the same sort of size and about the same sort of speed. The difference being that it handles a lot, technology is a lot more granular, a lot less granular, and it's a lot more tactically complicated. But the main advantage is it doesn't have any orders to write. Um, there is, uh, for people that are interested, um, the war, it's available at War Games Vault and also there, there is also what I call the uh, free web enhancement pack which is basically a download of the quick, the quick reference sheet, the spreadsheet used for, uh, I basically use for generating the bits and pieces and a load of markers and counters and things which I say is it's a good excuse to have a look at if you're vaguely interested in it because it gives you some idea of what you're, the sort of thing you're looking at and it's free, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Uh, um, quite well, as, as usual, we're, we're, only into, we're coming up to the start of the third bound, which is usually a good sign, because it means if we've spent, the, if we have, we've had to, had to play, we haven't been talking to people, which we always consider as a bad sign. So uh, we're doing quite so well. What's quite the game called? Uh, the game is Accelerate the Tap. Um, we didn't have a particular title for the scenario, it's just part of the um, long, ongoing conflicts that we set up and run over the course of. Uh, this is a follow up to a, a, a previous game we had, which was the first. Basically, the first test of the Zygrit. And it's all Space War, right? It's, this is all, yeah, all Starship Combat, yeah. Okay. We also do have, sometimes we do ground combat, okay. which would be like, which we use the maneuver group set of rules, which yeah. is strictly speaking World War II onwards, but yeah. we just use it for sci fi as well. Right. And uh, some of the, the science fiction stuff there, the red stuff, that's one of the grand armies I have. Okay. Um, we haven't quite got as many as we have Starships, but you know, there's not enough space in the house. So, if someone wants to start in this, how much would it cost them? Um, Accelerate Attack is, uh, unfortunately because it's an American website, yeah. I can't remember what the cost is, but it's about $16, so whatever, about, about... That's cheap. That's sort of, yeah, yeah. 16 or something. But you will have to come back with the rules itself. That's yeah. $16, that's printed, that's printed double-sided, so oh, it's, it might look like a fairly weighty tome, but the, yeah. actual rules, the actual rules themselves, the combat rules, yeah. only covers about that bit. Most of the rest of it is stuff like the ship generation, and about there's a load of scenarios yeah. and particularly pertinently as, as with the, as again this on the web has packed slightly better there's all the markers and some counters so you can more or less play straight out of the yeah. and where are the figures available uh, the figures are I Iota shipyards which are also mine right um, they are again they're, they're not while they the um, the purple one the stone portals and the vivraft they're the ones in the book as sample fleets right like every good, they're not they're not designed specifically for these set of rules particularly. Uh, but they are available both at the Aota Shipyards and Shapeways, that's A O T R S, or I now have a Facebook page which is um, uh, just Facebook slash Aota Shipyards as yeah. one word, where we now I now do direct printing through the home printer, which means if you want, if anybody's interested in that. Contact us through I'll Facebook. I'll put a link on the video anyway, yeah. so yeah. Would you like cool. to, if you'd like to take a flyer, I'll take, that. take a flyer that well, has a link to uh, both the shipyards page, has my email address, yeah. and has the sh link to Shakeways. Okay, um, brilliant. The Accelerate the Attack, that's the link to the War Games Vault, that's where that's available from. Okay, brilliant. Games Vault. All right, thanks for that. Yes. Can we the rule on Mangia Dead Type Rules? Yes. Essentially, the Chinese are running up the walls doing nothing but from running up. 
and the British are standing there shooting at them until the Jewish could get together and have a big fight.
do they like to do though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, they've got the same. They've got the trial again. But they wouldn't get ported in Egypt. So they fall off the board. They might get infantry muskets. But these guys are going to be So Mr. and Mr. Perry, who are him. And if he removes one arm, it would be the other. Yeah. I actually had to find there before I had to wear a horse or anything. Because nobody did the things. Sometimes the fun's gone out of it a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes you need to, this yeah. is the, the green quotient. Yeah, yeah, you might have a laugh. Yeah, we, we, want want people, to... we want people to smile. Yeah. Or even, yeah, we even got the, uh, I'll get the suggestion, we even got the flying saucer in there. Yeah. Which yeah. obviously. Yeah. It's a fine dinner plate, actually, if you can find the saucer. <laughs> Area yeah, 50. And if you get people in the war games, what it's all about, isn't it, really? Area 51. Yeah. yeah. Flying saucer. <laughs> That's what it says on the tin. Where are you guys from? Great Yarmouth. What's your club? Oh. Good old boys. Oh, good old boys. I've been war game in a long time. Oh god, yeah, since we were kids. Yeah, I was 15, I think, so yeah, it was about six years ago. I'll go back to when yeah. I'm about 10. Yeah. I'm 60 now, so... I was uh, oh, late 70s, so... Too bad. We started with the old Charles Grant. Oh, yeah. Donald Featherstone's existence. Yeah, yeah. As you do. Well, Paul did the, the peg game a couple of years ago. Did you see that one, the big peg game? Yes. Yeah. That yeah. was Paul again. Again, yeah, the, the idea was you're not supposed to take it too seriously. You're supposed to smile. There's That's too what many it's all people about. that take things too seriously. Yeah, right? it's like Colonel Bill's figures, you know. He's yeah. got a lot of little figures in there. Yeah, that quite yeah. put in games. It's good stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Cheers. Cheers.
recording in the UK. Right. It's been hanging around all day, that. Yeah. 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 Awesome look here, isn't it? Thank you. It's funny you could attach a little camera to it. I'd say real war games with wine, eh? Sorry? Right, real yeah. war games with wine. Yes, it's yeah. in great. The uh, wine glasses are in great as well. Real commanders, eh? Yeah. You can take something seriously. The wine drinking is serious. The war game is for fun. What does it feel like? That's not because you lose. Figures are off the guys. Yeah. Um, I made most of the terrain. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So, so we've all got expertise in different areas, or is it? Yeah, yeah. We just still uh, share our paint and modelling to get to this. Yeah. 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 So, um, what's it like to win then? <laughs> Spike, tell us. Yeah. Spike. <laughs> They're very proud, really, because um, it's in a, a room full of really nice games and yeah, yeah. with a, you so know, honest, you our players. Yeah, yeah. 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 A YouTube film of all the games here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of good competition. Yeah, we're not really, um, not really. We come up here as a road trip, yeah. stay overnight, we're drinking, and we're curry. Yeah. But, um, Proper war game, isn't it? 
Yeah, so yeah, we're not yeah, really just... interested in winning, but yeah. um, <laughs> winning anything. But when you do, when you look at the games around you, we're really proud because um, they've all done such a nice job, and you, yeah. you've got to give them the respect of enjoying the win yeah. as well, you know. No, it's, um, it's, I mean, so. your, your, your effort is cracking that, really. Yeah, really. thank you. As soon as you look at it, it just stands out, you're like, wow. So, yeah. yeah, it's all different ideas than you normally see as well, and that's where we grow, looking for ways to do it differently. Yeah. Like we did last year. So. so, do you just do this show with the games? Or uh, you take them just the twice a year. We go to, uh, well, we do part, both parties and, and um, we do warfare okay. in Reading. So, last year we did, well, here we did uh, the, the, the Stalingrad game um, as the first show, and the Foy game as the second show. Um, we do this as the first show this year, but the second one we're just coming in for a drink and a shot, yeah. so we're going to have a break from it. Yeah. Next year you'll see Star Wars. Uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a good show, to be honest, because of Salute. Yeah. I find a lot of war games, especially down south, they don't come up here. Uh, and it's a shame because it's a cracking show. Yeah. And I think the games here are better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. it's a good quality, it's a great venue, plenty of lights, warm, yeah. good parking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
meet loads of friends and talk and if one person walks away from this and it's inspired them or they're doing whatever and they come back and they say oh we're talking to you and do you know what we, we've tried that set of rules or we've done whatever then that, I, I love it it's the ability to meet the public meet people I would normally meet to uh, and then there's a bit of a trade-off few of the traders give us discounts on stuff because yeah, we're doing a bit of advertising so there's a little bit of that as well but yeah that's fair enough just do you, you enjoy it in the absolutely because yeah. that's one thing i've noticed with a lot of war gamers so they don't like they don't go to shows like they used to i mean years ago there's been little shows everywhere and uh, i think I online think... has made it easy not to go you know what I mean? yeah uh, I, I would say that the internet has vastly changed walking. Uh, some for the positive, some for the negative. I'll tell you, this is a personal opinion, right? The reason I don't think that shows of this size and scale will not die is A, while ever there's people bringing demo games like this, people will come to look for inspiration. Because I take, I'm taking all of inspiration from that, there's a lot of terrain building from that that I've thought of. Well, the other thing is, if you look around the show, rather worryingly, I've been gaming for about 30, 35 years. And I've been the average age of the war gamer right the way through. Stranger. I'm nearly 60 now. And I'm nearly, the, I'm still, right. But a lot of us now are middle aged. I've spent today, I've spent a lot of money. I've probably spent about three or four hundred pounds because I'm investing in a new army. I've got cash available at the age I'm at. And when I get home, my wife thinks I've spent a hundred pounds. If I put that on the credit card or the debit card and buy it online, a little bit more difficult to explain. And genuinely, I believe that's one of the reasons that you know, shows retaining. The other thing is, the internet's great, you see the photograph, you see whatever. I've come here today and I've actually physically seen him. You know, you've got it in your hand. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a hard one to call. What's your, what's your name? Dave. Dave. Dave, I totally agree with you. I've actually said in the prelim for this video, it's all right looking at stuff, but it's not buying a pair of shoes on the uh, When it arrives, I feel bloody awful. Yeah. How many times have you bought something? Yep. It's arrived in full course. Why did I bother? Why did I spend, you know, why did I do whatever? Uh, and then, you know, you've got the hooligan that's called the postman. I ordered a load of resin buildings not long ago off Ovals. Uh, and they arrived and. They were rubble. Well, yeah, basically they were. Uh, I mean, Dennis was very good about it. We sorted it out. But actually, now if we want something like that from them, one of the lads will call. We'll drive up and get it. So there's all things like that as well, you know. I've had a good day in there, so it's a lovely game. Well done. Thank you very much. Very right. kind. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. I'll tell you, it should be up here. Most of these are in tens. Perfect. Okay. Everything apart from, as I said, three. Yeah. 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 So, so these are in. in these are in. Have you got any over there? Right. So, what's the name of your club? Uh, we're called the Old Pikeys. Why'd you do it? Yeah, just the love of doing it. 
Well, I love Market Garden. Yeah. We've got three great mates. Yeah. Cool. So we're just a gaming, you know, uh, four guys gaming my shed Thursday nights, and we just like building big games like this. Yeah. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Um, Oh, brilliant, yeah. Yeah, I bet. So you're proud to do it as well? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. We've been for the last few years, we're not going this year, but it's well worth going, so. Perfect. Anyway, well done, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Much appreciate it. So I'm going to try and walk three with those. One fail, two passes. I can't fight because it takes two extra moves to get in there. Okay, but it's now my go. Right. Uh. Right. Um, Ooh, this turn, round six now. turn uh, this is my turn five, then it's your turn six in a minute. I don't see how I'm going to win this one. So they're going to pray and give her the extra dice. She's going to do three, four actions. Ah! Fail. Okay, so you get two reactions with your god if you want them. Two reactions with my god if you want to, because I've failed with my god twice. My god stays there. Okay, so you don't want to do anything? Yes. Okay, so then she gets one, you take them armoured. first party down was 1986, wow. so that's 33 years now. Yeah, that's good. It's changed a lot? Yeah, when we first started it was very small. Yeah. So originally there was uh, like a regionals yeah. for the national championships and we just organised the East Midlands regionals and then the, the, the show has grown from there. Okay. So we no longer have any competition games, we no. haven't had for many, many years, but uh, we focus more on Good looking games, as yep. you've probably seen as you've wandered around. Some so amazing games here. Yeah, they're, really they're amazing. good and we're we're lucky that something about this show means that people always put out their best games for us. Definitely. I mean I, I went uh, to Salute earlier in the year and I think without shadow doubt this game is for that for that Yeah, I mean I my personal philosophy of war game shows is that you need some kind of niche. Yep. You need to have something that's different. Yep. And for Partizan, it's always been the best looking games. Yeah. Salute obviously is a really big shopping fest. Yeah. You know, yeah. They have much more space, yeah. many more traders. But I think we do tend to get the best, best looking games. And that's probably because in the early days, Duncan McFarlane from War Games Illustrated yeah. Yeah. then used to take lots of photos and they ended up in the magazine. Yes. Yeah. So he ended up in a kind of an arms race. So people would like, yeah, yeah it, it became prestigious. People put on their best face, their best games, their best figures, because they thought they'd probably be in the magazine. And, they, and in the early days they were. Nowadays we've got Henry Hyde coming with his Patreon yeah. channel. Um, Dan from WI still does stuff, and so you'll get pictures in there. And 
guy from War Game Soldiers and Strategy also takes lots of photos. So still a good chance that if you put on a game at Partizan, yeah. you'll end up in a magazine. So I think that really helps with people going, OK, this has got to be at a really high standard. Yeah, Why two Partizans? Well, there have been three in the past. Yeah, Why two now? <laughs> Why two? There was just the demand for it. So we kind of spread out. Originally, we had, we've always done the May show. That was kind of from the beginning. We ended up doing the, we couldn't think of a better name for it, so the one, the second one is The Other Partisan. Yeah. <laughs> and then originally we did what we called Fantasy Partisan, which yeah. was designed to be different. Yeah. Concentrate on sci-fi and fantasy. But three was just too much for anyone, really. Um, so eventually we dropped out of that, and the people that now run Hammerhead took it over, or took That's over the slot. Yeah. yeah, Hammerhead also uses this venue now, but it's a very different show. They yes. focus on participation games, and they, they run it very differently. That's fine, they've developed it from what was the original Cogs Chesterfield show. So, so what are the numbers in War Games, War Games coming to show us up or down? For us, they've been going up. As when we finished at Callum Hall, they were tending to tail off. Obviously, there were problems with Callum Hall. Since we've been here, this is our third year now, numbers have been creeping up. So today, we've got over a thousand people through the door. First time we've had over a thousand, so we're really pleased with that. And thanks to everyone who's been. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, one thing I've noticed as a war game, and I've been war gaming since like the very early 80s. Yep. And I've noticed since then that the internet has been a great thing. It's also been a bit of a, a minus. Because there used to be many, many little shows. And yeah. That was where you'd go to see. Lots figures. of local shows, yeah. yeah. And now people tend to do a lot of mail order, uh, yep. which is great. But. Um, what do you think the future of war game shows is nationally? I don't know. I think it takes a long time for a war game show to die. Yeah. Traders tend to support them as long as they can because obviously yeah. they want to make money. But I think if you talk to the trade and you have, then they'll tell you that trade is different. Yeah. I think for us there's still the sort of physicality of actually seeing things yeah, in the flesh and the light here is very good yeah. as well. So. I think that's okay. Long term, whether the whole thing goes to 3D printing and stuff, who knows? That's um, all. So, do you think it's better to have a war game show of a certain size for survivability? I don't know. I think there's still a place for the smaller shows, but like I said, you've got to have a reason for doing it. Yeah. If you're the only show within 50 miles, 100 miles, then that's great. Yeah. Yeah, Nottingham, for example, has now a show called Robin, but for many years it didn't because we were effectively the show that covered the lead belt in Nottingham. So. And um, in regards to the future, any different plans for Partizan or the same format? Same sort of format. We, we like the idea of having everything in one place. Yeah, I like that place. Yeah, it gives a better buzz. So the problem is this hall won't get any bigger. So we need to think about it. The big change for us next year will be that the other partisan will slip back to an October slot. Okay. So it's still August this year, but next year we'll have a May and then an October slot, obviously filling the gap that's occurred at that time of the year. Okay, brilliant. And what do you look for in a competition game? And what do the people judging look for? Because there's many games there, all very great. I thought the winner was incredible. Yeah, I mean... What do you look for? Well, it's interesting. I've When we... We never used to do awards. Yeah. When we came up here, we thought, okay, we'll do some awards, but we'll make sure that Richard and I are not the ones judging. Yeah. So I think the editors look for particular things. For the participation games, they're yeah. looking for how many people are involved, you know, how much of a buzz there is around that game. Novelty is a big thing. Yeah. For the demo games, they're looking more for quality, detail, but also still talking to people. We like our demonstration gamers as well as participation gamers to be involving people. So there's a whole factor of things. Yeah, a whole variety of things. And to be honest, the ones that they pick are not always the ones that I would have picked. So people see That's different things. Different, yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't want to be accused of favouritism, but it is interesting to see you know, what they've spotted in other games that maybe I haven't. Well, one thing I noticed was your price of five pounds for coming in. Yeah. I, was, I was amazed when I got it five pounds. I was like, that's good, you know, I came to the door and I was just... Yeah. Like, oh, man, we got a ten of them, you know, it was a five. I thought, that's just really good. How have you managed to count the prices so that? Well, now you say that, obviously we'll put the prices up. <laughs> the, the difference with our show is we're not trying to make a profit. We okay. used to do it just to run the club. The Newark club 
has kind of disbanded. It's almost a virtual club now because basically everyone moved out of Newark. But we keep together to do the show. So we don't need to do anything much more than pay our costs, have a bit in the bank just in case something terrible happens, and the rest is invested in improving the show. Excellent. And if you could go to uh, another show yourself to look around for a day, which one would you go to? I've never been to Salute. Really? Yeah. So I'd like to go. That's another one I'd love to go to just to see how they're doing things differently. Okay, well, I'll look out for your stuff and see what you're doing.